with compound inequalities, it's important to remember that or can mean one or both. First, we will float each part above the number line. So what that means is we're going to have to solve the inequalities and graph them. But the first time, we'll graph them as they're floating above the number line. Then we'll combine into a union or the or. So we'll go ahead and combine the two parts of the inequalities that are being united after we've solved them and graphed them above a number line. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. Divide both sides by 4, and we get x is less than negative 3. We also have to solve the other side of our or inequality, and we add 8 to both sides. So we get negative 4x is less than or equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 4 and flip our inequality over, and we get x is greater than or equal to 3. If we go ahead and graph that above our number line, where these two spaces represent negative 3 and positive 3, we get x is less than negative 3, and x is greater than or equal to positive 3. If we unite or combine these with our symbol for union, which is like a u, we can write this in interval notation with the symbol for union. Let's go ahead and do that now. We have the x less than negative 3 going from negative infinity to negative 3, parenthesis, parenthesis, or, or union, bracket for including 3, and approaching positive infinity, and close parenthesis. This is a solution for this or inequality. Example 2 has us solve 8x plus 9 is less than 4x minus 18, or excuse me, minus 19. So we're going to subtract 9 from both sides, and then we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. When we do this, we get 4x is less than negative 28. We can now divide by 4, and x is less than negative 7. bringing down our or, we now solve the other side. Distribute the 2, we get 8x minus 16 minus 2 is less than or equal to 12x minus 50. From there we can combine like terms, and we get 8x minus 18 
is less than or equal to 12x minus 50. Add 18 to both sides, and subtract 12x from both sides to get negative 4x is less than or equal to negative 32. Divide by negative 4 on both sides, and we get x is greater than or equal to 8. Let's go ahead and graph that. negative 7, positive 8, x is less than negative 7, so an open dot, heading to the left, or a closed dot, heading to the right. At this point, we can create a union and we can write that in interval notation. Negative infinity, negative 7, parentheses, union, bracket 8, positive infinity, close parenthesis. And this is my interval 